Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. This is a really fun tutorial because instead of making a lens from scratch, I have created a template for you to use yourself and uh, kind of add your own flair to it. So the link to this project will be in the description below and all you'll need to do is download it, unzip the folder and then uh, open it up in Lens Studio if you haven't downloaded Lens Studio already or updated it to the most current version I would suggest you do that first because this is updated so let's get started um, a very I guess uh, quick explanation of what is happening here is it's taking a bunch of different effects and it is calculating the distance between the top and the bottom lip and using that to kind of pass values into these effects and what you can do is kind of change the effects and you know modify them to uh, however you'd like so if we go into the smooth transition script here the one that says edit me you'll see we have a bunch of different things selected here um, you could ignore the advanced part on the bottom but we have currently it's using a face mask it's using the liquify and the post effect and a face stretch so let's take off the post effect the mask and now we see that's just the uh, the liquify and the face stretch. Let's say we wanted to adjust these values. Like let's say you want them to be a little bit smaller. Um, let's turn the radius down to two, but then let's turn the intensity up to two as well. So that it kind of um, if we turn it if we turn the intensity up any more than one, it's going to start out with you know more intensity. But if we go to one, it'll just kind of start off at a base intensity. Anyways what we can do with the face stretch if we go into the camera here and we find face stretch and click on it this is where we can modify the face like the way that it looks so all you'll need to do is take some of these points maybe move them around a bit like so go like that or something so yeah that's how you would modify the face stretch um, let's disable that and the liquify let's enable the face mask so right now if we go into this face mask here you'll see it's not even using any textures it's just the default image so let's add our own image here um, let's see let's go into some pictures let's just go with this cool psychedelic kitty so I mean it's not like a perfect thing I mean you can find your own cool image for it but this just kind of shows that you can add whatever image you want as a face mask and then have it kind of transition in. <clears throat> let's see. Let's disable that. Let's look at the face inset. So what this is doing is it's going to take a face inset and then it's going to, you know, size it up based on how open the mouth is. So if we look here, it's using the uh, the mouth as the face region. Let's change that to the right eye. So now we have somebody's eye on their forehead. Um, maybe you want to adjust this so that it's attached to like their mouth or something. You know, you can really put it wherever you want and then kind of move it around. So, like, yeah, I'll just put it back up there. All right, and then let's go to the post effect. So this is just using one of Lens Studio's built-in post effects. We can easily change that if we go into here and we, first we're gonna need to add a new post effect. So let's go into the resources, click add new, and then go to color correction texture. And instead of the spectrum that it's on currently, let's go with purple hills, that's a cool one. So let's change this texture to purple hills. You can either drag it in here like so, or you can just click this and select it. So now it's changing this dynamically to the purple hills. So that's that's pretty cool. And let's go in here. Let's find the image. So this is going to put an image attached to the user's face, similar to the face inset. This is going to be taking a head binding and it's going to basically kind of, you know, we can move that around and instead of an arrow, like, um, I'll use that cat again as an example. So you can change the image to whatever you want. You can rotate it. 
size it up or move it over here. So it's really up to you what you want to do with that. And that should be everything in here that you can customize. Um, if you know any scripting, you can always go into this uh, script that I created and adjust it yourself or just kind of learn a little bit about how it works in JavaScript. But yeah, that is basically how you can adjust the smooth effect template and kind of make it your own. So I would love to see what you create with this and go ahead and comment a link to your lenses in the description or um, in the r slash snap lenses subreddit. Um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs>